In less than three weeks, Wisconsinites will cast their votes in the August partisan primary. And as News 8 Now's Allison Fergett explains, there will be more than just candidates on the ballot. Allison. Ken and Emily, voters will decide on two constitutional amendments about how the state spends federal funding. Some argue the measures add needed oversight. Others say it would add unnecessary delays. It's so confusing, and I don't know anybody that's looked at that and read it through and said, oh, I know exactly what that means. Wisconsin voters will soon hit the polls and be faced with two constitutional amendment questions about federal funding, a topic not many people are familiar with. Right now, in certain cases like emergencies, the governor can accept federal funding without legislature approval. But these amendments would block the governor from allocating funds without the legislature's support. They could also allow the legislature to go around the governor to approve federal money. We've spent years looking at how federal funds are spent in in Wisconsin, and we feel that federal funding is often important, but it's often misspent and there's no accountability. Conservative think tank the Badger Institute says the amendments create necessary oversight in the allocation process. In our estimation, a yes is important on both questions so that there's more accountability over how billions of dollars in federal funding that flows through Wisconsin are spent. The amendments were drafted following an influx of federal COVID relief money to the state. Democratic Governor Tony Evers used that funding for health care infrastructure and workforce grants without input from the Republican controlled legislature. This is a representative democracy and we feel in this instance there's no representation on how all this money is spent. Groups like the La Crosse County Democrats say a once in a lifetime event doesn't necessitate a policy change meant to provide quick relief during emergencies. When there's something happening like a flood or a tornado or something, people need money and assistance immediately. Any time that you have to get the legislature involved with it, it is going to take time because if they're not in session, then you have to pull them into session. Even a 24 hour delay could be extraordinarily dangerous for someone who is in need of emergency assistance. Representative Lauren Oldenburg voted in favor of the amendments when they were in the state legislature. He believes they'll make it easier for residents to know how federal money is being spent. People know where they were spent and how they're spent because it goes through the through a legislative resolution or a rule. So people can see, hey, we're going to spend this X amount of dollars. But others believe the amendments themselves lack transparency, saying they lack crucial details, making it so Wisconsinites won't even know what they're voting for. There's better ways to work together and to solve problems than to put unconfusing amendments on the ballot. Although they are related, the two amendments are not dependent on each other. So if one gets approved and the other is denied, the one that's approved can go into effect. Ken and Emily. All right, Allison Fergit, live in studio. Thank you, Allison.